so hello everyone welcome back to another video so in today's video we are going to learn or we are going to write a program for simulate so simulating the dice roll okay so in previous video uh, in similar video i have already created that is flipping of the coins okay so that is a little bit more interesting problem so in this case we are following some other approach so basically the game is called dice roll dice rolls okay so we are going to rolling the dice and we are checking so in a dice have six faces right six side six side face we are considering this one so let's first save this file i call this one dice roll okay r o l s so i am going to save here so for doing so let's first import the important library that is called random because random function is very helpful if you want to select some random integers or even random choices so random are going to be very helpful okay so if some event we have to select randomly then define some function again in the same case you can roll the n number of times any number of times you can roll the dice so we are going to write one function for roll the dice and then a result equal to so again use the random function and a random function has some random modules or we can say library you can packages you anything you can say rand int so random module has one function rand integer so it will randomly select integers between given range like 1 and 6 because this is for <coughs> a standard 6 phase so for a standard six sided dice right and then finally we are going to return the result return we are going to return as a result fine now we have already defined one function this function what will do so whenever we are calling this function it will randomly so we have made mistake here so it will randomly give any number between 1 to 6 okay and it will return that number fine so now let's suppose we are going to roll this dice n times so let's give the number of times we want so let's suppose we are assigning some initial value equal to 10 maybe you can assign more based on your interest patience of waiting and executing the code so simulating num rolls dice rolls right so how many times we want to want to this one so the process is same again we are going to use some loop for rolling for in each roll okay so num rolls so how many time we are going to roll the dice and the result of each roll we are going to save at some variable called result of particular roles or particular instances what are the output so this one is the roll dice if we are going to call this function and then after this we are going to print the output okay so again formatted string we are going to use so roll so 
in each role we are going to check what was our result so plus one okay a space is not required but you can make it more neat and clean you know code so that's why i'm giving properly a space formatted and role result fine so this is our complete program so let's run this code for simulating the rice rice dose so <laughs> dice roll okay fine so when we are rolling the dice first time we are getting the six next time four third time six in the similar way last time we are getting the five let's run again so that confirm the result is not same okay so we are get, getting the different result right so simulating 10 dice rolls okay so this is another interesting program okay so maybe similarly you can create your own program tic-tac-toe you know so there is more like that so all these program if you have more interest obviously you can convert this program into some gui based but in background okay all the coding part and the algorithm part will be the same okay so most probably the code will be same and just you are just integrating ui gui we can say in this one fine so that's all for this that's all for this video so let's meet in another one so if this type of video is helpful or also you need to cover more such video you can also comment down below i will uh, cover and solve more and more coding problem okay so thank you for watching let's meet in another one